Now, Israel, Hezbollah tensions that continue to escalate. Since this morning, Israel and Hezbollah have been exchanging non-stop missile attacks. Hezbollah missiles targeting Haifa, Israel's third largest city. Israel forces have also retaliated with missile attacks on Hezbollah intelligence headquarters in Beirut. At least five Israeli settlers injured after Hezbollah missile rocket strikes on Haifa. Hezbollah says it bombed the, it bombed a gathering of Israeli soldiers in the vicinity of al-Baghdadi site with salvo of rockets. Lebanon has also fired at least 35 rockets at Israel, leaving many vehicles on fire. No injuries have been reported so far in this attack. One of the worst impacted areas in the heart of Haifa. This is where rockets struck late last night. Now, if you just look around, uh, this is a residential area. Right in the center of this residential area, a rocket struck. But if you just look around, uh, these houses, they've got pockmarked walls. The window panes are all shattered and window panes in se several of these localities are made of reinforced glass. But look at how the walls are completely pockmarked. Several automobiles caught fire. Some are damaged. And now emergency workers are trying once again to restore this location. Uh, late, late yesterday, close to midnight, first the air raid siren went up because that's the time Israel realized that Hezbollah was firing rockets in this area. As soon as the air raid siren went up, people living in these homes, it was between 11.30 and 11.45, people rushed to shelters in their homes, in their buildings. Those buildings that do not have shelters, people rush to the uh, staircase area of their hotels or their homes because in Israel, as per law, they're supposed to make buildings uh, with the staircase which is made of specially reinforced concrete and metal for protection against rocket attacks and missile attacks. So people stayed in those shelters for close to an hour before returning to their homes. But then the air raid sirens went up once again and that shows the tension all across in this area. And I want to show you uh, all around that how an effort is being made to quickly, once again, get this place back on its feet. God of Savant in Haifa, Northern Israel, for India Today. I'm currently in the Amatya Hills. This is the hill area of the Lebanon where mostly people come for the safety and uh, for their security. After the bombings in the suburbs of South Beirut, many families who could afford have shifted to this hilly uh, uh, hill station or we can say of Lebanon but here also the Israeli air defenses are following all those people who are on their target and even uh, attacking in these hills these are two uh, houses behind me which had been targeted during the Monday night and you can see how the uh, both the houses had got complete damage the uh, missiles had been struck from the top and they had exploded in the middle of both the buildings you can see how much damage has got created in the in the building you can see here people here say when in 2006 there was a war between uh, israel and the lebanon even then this area was not targeted but this time israel is not separating even this safe area or the hill station of Lebanon. Ashraf Wani for India Today in Amatya Hills in Lebanon. This is Zaituna uh, port area, this is the bay area and uh, right behind me is the Mediterranean coast and uh, you know always caught in the crossfire are the innocent civilians, the citizens, and that's exactly the case what I see here in Lebanon as well. Ever since the Israel airstrike started happening in southern part, uh, hundreds of uh, the Lebanese or the Syrians living in that southern suburb have taken shelter near the Bay Area. They are sleeping on the road. When the Israel Air Force carried out strikes in the southern Beirut, many rendered homeless. Their houses were destroyed and many out of fear left their houses and now taking refuse on the road and worst victim are the women and the children as now they have no idea where to go there are no homes there is no life there is no future and it's all under concern and dilemma when the situation will calm down the worst affected are always the children and women and is this uh, 
refugee camp makeshift arrangements near the Zaytuna Bay port area. I see the huge number of women, the children who are living here in literally difficult situation and condition and there's always a fear as the Israel uh, offenses are continued, the Hezbollah also retaliating and if the conflict escalates further, probably it will affect the entire Beirut and in that case here you will see the millions of such people affected who will be taking refuge here and there. All this calls for immediate ceasefire and perhaps a solution but that looks like very far because it's escalation, Israel offenses continues, Hezbollah also retaliates.